Have you ever had this happen to you? Help! Help me! Help me! Help me, please! Help! Ow! Ow! Help me! Help me! Ow! Oh! Oh! Ow! Oh! Uh 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 oh! Well, never again, because now we have the brand new this. Oh! 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 Okay! Oh! 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 Well! Oh, well! Okay! Well, now, well, now I sorta now I can now I can kind of see, and that's what you'll see. All right. Here's the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. What? More, more than we already have? Uh, our team is mostly guns. Trust me, we need this. Klug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian. Oh shit, another Gatlian! That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. A scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Okay, so what do we do? We do it the old-fashioned way, and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. Okay, Gene, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll try to find him ourselves. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. Hello there, human fans, and welcome to Human TV. I'm hey there, bounty hunter. It's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Suddenly? With the fucking detective mode? Well, why haven't we had access to this the whole time? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately, and... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the local? Okay, I figured it out. This thing's fucking useless. Thanks, Gene. Movies they made back on their home planet. These movies are sick and twisted. In my Just a little reminder, you have a scanner. You probably remember, and I'm sorry for saying anything. Happening. Uh, for you, I don't care about me, it's for you. I'm Pavel B. I'm being put, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the pal, 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 pal in the thing. Let me, sh let me show you an example of what I have accomplished with one of my clients. Listen, this guy. Looking for more alien cum, are you? Well, I'm sorry. I'm fresh out of alien cum right now. Okay, you saunter away. I wasn't saying that. Oh, hey, hey. Uh, I know I look like I'm one of those G3 guys, but I am not in the G3. I'm like one of the few people of my species who did not join the G3. I'm. We, we call ourselves Merkeloids or Merkelids or what? I, can't, I literally can't remember the name of our species. But that's fine. I, it's not important. We're, we're literally cannon fodder. That's kind of what our species is. Everyone gets pressured into to joining the G3 and then they get killed. It sucks. And I don't want to be one of those one of those dead cannon fodder types. I want to live my life. I'm not going to be peer pressured into joining a criminal organization. No, nope. no, okay, you don't want to talk to me. All right, never mind. See you later then. Did, did you know anything about Dr. Giblets? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. Do I look nervous? <laughs> oh, jeez, you're making me nervous with this interrogation. What? Why do you care? If you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches. And yes, I regret it. I don't know why I ate that many. Am I what? 
What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is. But <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D-rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh well, maybe you can just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. Oh, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> this is the trial version of detective mode. So there's going to be ads. You love ads. This'll be worth it, I promise. Oh, sorry, partner, that's not for sale. Oh, sorry, partner, that's not for sale. Enjoy! Wonderful! Dad, I think this customer is gonna steal something! Job, don't say stuff like that! Fine, next time I'll just let them rob you blind! Well, that seals the deal. Another great piece of business. Oh, sorry, partner, that's not for sale. See you soon, I hope. God, I'm glad we got this jetpack. Pizza? I want a pizza now! I want it right now! Do you get me? Not in 30 minutes or less or whatever. I need it instantaneous! And I know we have the tech for that. Why are you still delivering pizza by foot? Just zap them to me! There's like 10 different ways you can do it by now. Portal door, work face, anything. I don't care. Just get it to me right now! Wait. Never mind. I'm not hungry. Bye. Perfectly legal business. Hey, uh, hey, tough guy. We're we're looking for a Dr. Giblets. You got you got any leads? Slick. What the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ! Leave me alone. What's my whole deal? Like, who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off. How you doing? Like with your weird interrogation? Awful. I wish you'd stop! Quit the, the drug guys. No! I don't have any fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate. I'm a normal person trying to live a normal life in the city. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? I don't know and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. You need anything else or can I fucking go? Ooh, bummer, they were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth according to my sensors, so let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time, let's look for somebody else. Would you mind watching my bike for just a minute? I, I, I Just keep an eye on it, I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, you know, okay, sure. Thank you so much, you're a lifesaver. Don't let anything happen to my bike.
Uh, where's my bike? I asked you to watch my bike and you just let someone take it? Where'd it go? That was an expensive bike. Oh my god, I, I swear to god it was right here just a second ago. I, I, we, we were right here, I don't even know. <laughs> My mommy gave me that bike after my daddy yelled at me. It means a lot to me. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Hey, uh, do, do you mind if we have a moment of your time? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? Uh, yeah. Everyone knows about the G3. It's just, we shouldn't be talking about him in broad daylight like this, you know? I was playing snooker with Blordo. Yeah, he's really bad at it, so I won a few hundred pesos. It, it was a great night. Hey, thanks for asking about my night, pal. It was nice of you. You take an interest in people. That's admirable. Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk but no cracks about my name. Well, sure. Yeah, I, I don't really have any moral issue with accepting a bribe. It sounds like a win-win, actually. I get money, you get info. But uh, come to think of it, the G3 will kill me, so uh, how about no? Holy shit, wow, you, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woo -hoo. that was an A-rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blurdo and mention Michael Taint. Yo, bounty hunter, wanna do some perfectly legal business? I love you, okay? I said it! I, I already said it, Hey, what's up, Lordo? You know anything about a, a, a where we could find a guy named Jib, Dr. Giblets? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. What, why? What, what, what's wrong with asking about Dr. Giblets? I don't know, why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing! Now buy something or beat it, buster! Piece of shit! I'm gonna kill him! <sighs> Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight launches tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here! If anyone sees me talking here, I'm dead! Thanks, Blordo. We, we had a good feeling you were a true pal. Whoa! Great sleuthing, detectives! That was an S rank interrogation! Hey, this is my favorite VIP. Hey, you don't have to wait through any of this funny business. You are led right in, my friend. Yeah, you better head straight through. For this new high on life store? Oh, Hopefully yeah. The hey, slums hey, are a yeah. little more chill uh, now that we took it. out no nine to me. I'm the broken leg guy. Nobody wants to talk to the broken leg guy. I get it. Hey, we heard you were asking around for giblets. Well, the Torgs are with the G3 now, so it's best not to stick your nose where, where it don't. Wait. Oh, shit! It's you! The bounty hunter's back! Everyone! <laughs>
damn time. Oh, you want me out again, do you? Did they say they're with the G3 now? We must be on the right trail if they're coming at us this hard. Come on, let, let's get to this high on life place. but I, I don't like what they're doing over here to this place. It's, it just feels weird. Do not apply to the law. Oh, I just hope they don't make me buy a new adapter. Okay, okay. Welcome to High on Life Store number 7923, your local Hyperbong Superstore. Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm Pseudo, by the way. You know me. Uh, yeah, we're, we're still tracking down giblets. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Yeah, no shit. That's what, that's what the fuck we're gonna do. Hello, and welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? Great question. Thanks so much for your interest. We sell hyperbongs and hyperbong accessories. The latest model, the Hyperbong 6, is even capable of smoking humans. That's right. That hot new species you've been hearing about, high on life hyperbongs, are the only way to get that fixed. 
Illegal? No, 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 not, not in any real sense. You must be reading some of our detractors on the internet or watching too many Clug Nugman speeches. Hyperbongs are totally humane and of no harm to anybody except the creatures you smoke in them. High on Life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our High on Life care program? We actually prefer not to call it the slums. This is an exciting new up and coming part of town that we hope will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard earned money on quality products. Speaking of which, can I interest you in a Hyperbong 6? Woo, these are some tough nuts to crack. Don't lose motivation, you're doing great. But you do get a D ranking, because that one sucked. Oh, uh, 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 hello, hello, and welcome, welcome to High on Life. I'm Barrick. Uh, I can be a personal uh, High on Life uh, prof professional today. Um, that makes sense, right? That, does that sound okay? I'm, I'm new here. Oh, no, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's the big Hyperbond 6 Midnight Lunch, and we literally just opened, so uh, i only been here for, like, half an hour. And honestly, okay, yeah, it kind of sucks so far because, like, I can already feel my soul leaving my body. Me? Oh, no, 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 I'm, uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. This job was, uh, oh, well, it was a bad idea for me, probably. God, I'd really love to help you because you look very cool. But no, sorry, I, I have no clue. Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not to mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. Wow, nice kid, but not helpful at all. You get a big fat D ranking. It is my pleasure to welcome you to High on Life. Are you being helped already? Oh, I'm so excited you asked. A hyperbong is a device used to absorb the life energy of another species in order to trigger a psychedelic effect in the operator. I'm so sorry. That is a really fantastic question, but I'm not authorized to answer it. Have you considered buying a drop proof case for your hyperbong? High on Life employees politely request that you don't alert the other customers to the fact that we are part owned by the Torg family. That worries the other customers, and we don't want that! You know, I can't recall whether or not I've heard that name before, but I'm actually much more interested in telling you all about the fabulous features that come packed in with the brand new Hyperbong 6. Ooh, boy, they really want to make that commission, huh? Sorry, but I gotta give you another D rank. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? That's right, it's a big day. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy hyper bongs. Probably a bad sign for our city. Huh? Nah, I think they're probably bad for society overall, you know? I mean, uh, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but hyperbongs are like, the drugs are living creatures and they die, and that seems a little fucked up, right? But hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells hyperbongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's hypocritical, it's weird. I don't know, I'm just here. I'm just here. Oh man, this again. Look man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store, or who built it, or I, I'm, I'm kind of a fuck up. I lied on my resume, I got this manager gig, I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like, I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. But, but you know about him. Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around though, I don't really know where he is. What? I told you, I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone! It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me! 
Okay, shit, not not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit, a, hit a dead end, so let's get Nice the... day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like they're poking their beak where it don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. More of this shit? Are you fucking kidding me? More? More of this? Why is everybody on our case today? Please, just fuck off! You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, yeah? he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this, got it? We've got this covered. What the hell was that? <laughs> Holy shit, what, what the fuck? Was this guy trampled to death? Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? One moment he was there, next he's gone. Squashed. Oh, you can go ahead and take his bag boots. It's not a problem. He was a really bad guy. Like morally. He was very. Yeah, that's fine. Totally take those mag boots. Okay, look, I know this is a little fucked, but these boots are gonna be very useful and, and they're the only way out of here. Well, you know. Hey, sick moves! You're making good use of those mag boots. You're using those things way better than Daddy Glutes ever did. Look at you! Hey, well, don't shoot the hook bug. That's probably somebody's pet. Keep coming! Welcome back. 
We've got company. Hello there. You guys again? No worry, they're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim, the Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd, the G3 cartel, or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed, pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. Huh, all right, let's, let's go talk to Clug. So? You're gonna step through the portal door and go see Clug or what? 